Hello guys, this is Ray here once again from shortcrashcourse.com and in today's video I want to show you how to connect your app on the Play Store to your Google AdMob account. So remember that when I started working on this, I had to just create an app. I had to add an app and the app I added was not listed. So I click on app, then I selected Android, then it said is the app listed on the supported app store? I said no right i continued and i added that app just to set it up and get the app id and all that you read for the ads unit so now that the app has been approved on the play store i need to come and update it for the app to be reviewed by google for the monetization okay so let's click cancel and go back so now we're going to go to all apps and then we're going to select this particular app this is the one we're working on. Now, as you can see, the impressions and everything are already recording, right? The request, the impression, the ECPM and all that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead here and click, see, it said required review. So I'll click on, it said all monetized apps must be listed on the supported store and require an app review. So leave limit on ad saving, add a store to this app. So I'm gonna click on ad store. Then it brings me to this page where I can actually select the app store and search for the app then connect it so you can use search let's search for the name of the app let's try the search option so now you see it's found the app dollars and in dollars so this is the app so we click on add so now you see other stores, if your app is listed on another Android store, select there. So right now the app is not listed on other stores, so we're not going to. So we're just going to click on the continue to proceed. So it says verify all details before you add this app. This app's package name, for example, is used to identify the app when saving at package name com.dollars.app. Your AdMob app will use the same package name as your Google Play app. If you use different package names on different Android stores, create a separate AdMob app for each. So just click on save. Okay, so it said you successfully updated dollars and in dollars. App review typically takes a couple of days, but in some cases may require more time to evaluate your app. Ad saving is limited until the review is complete. So what to do next? Check your email for a status update. We'll notify you when the review is complete to monitor app performance. We recommend that you wait until your app is approved and the ad saving limit is lifted before you make decisions about the user acquisition strategy. So remember I said after the whole process, you have to proceed to user acquisition. It's very important. You can't just build an app and put it. There are millions, if not billions of apps on the Play Store. And you need to let people know that you have the app. You don't just build and list and go. Yeah, you could have a few install and all that if your app happens to appear on some search keywords that people are searching for when they go to Play Store. But it's very important that you take a practical step and intentional steps towards promoting, right, um, your app and getting more users to know about the app. So now we're going to go ahead and click on done because we're done on this and see what uh, you see this has changed now the logo of the app everything is now showing. So it's showing you getting ready here and no more showing you um, app requires review. So after a few hours we're going to come back to our dashboard and refresh to check the status of that. Once the app has been approved and reviewed and approved it's going to go live. Then after that we're going to go full into user acquisition using Facebook ads, Google ads and other marketing and uh, advertising um, strategies. So that will be all for now guys. I expect to see you in our next video. Bye for now.